In the previous chapter, Yanchen smooched Jing Chao's lips when she denied her true feelings to him. Jing Chao seems to close her eyes. We cannot tell if she is responding to the kiss or she is struggling to push him away. From the close up, the answer is actually the second one. She is surprised and thinks that Yanchen has gone crazy. Has this guy gone insane? She furrowed her eyebrows. and started biting his lips with all her might. His lower lip seems to be bleeding, and he let go her lips for a while. And then continued to kiss her again. He actually... She tried to jerk him, but it didn't seem to work. She is still struggling to break free from his embrace, that their bodies seem to tremble from the wrestling. And Yanchen's wound seems to dehiscence and the blood exuded to his shirt. And Jing Chao seems to notice the blood. Maniac, what a bloody maniac. She finally chose to relent. and let go her hand from pushing his chest. Yanshin, who thought that he has won over her heart, smiled. After a long kissing and due to out of breath, he finally ended the kiss. Jing Chao quickly pushes him away. And then gave him a slap in the face again. It seems that the slap in the face last time hasn't woken you up yet.
Jing Chao, I know that in a short time. You wouldn't believe me again. But I won't give up. From now on, I will pursue you again. Crazy. Miss Jing, how did the talk? So, so scary. Wu Bai. Is everything done? The troublemakers have already been sent in, and according to your instructions, we will take special care of them. And also, this is your clean coat. President Jin, your wound dehiscence. I think it's better to undergo a thorough checkup. No need. Prepare the business plan for the high-speed rail and notify all high-level executives about the project that there is an emergency meeting. Eh, uh, yes. Why do these two people seem to have completely different moods?